Hello there, this is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. Money doesn't make people have happy relationships. Yeah, I'm going to talk about money. Y'all probably wondering and shit. It's like, damn, Rom always going and talking against using money in relationships and stuff and leaning with your wallet and everything. Well, first of all, if we need to track this. There's a link in the description box for where, I, for where I live right now. I wouldn't live there if, I'm, if I was broke. So, I already know. See, I was actually trained on how to, like, go against different arguments. So, people who know my actual background know. I've been trained for arguments. But, anyway, I was thinking about that. Because, you know, I did that video, uh, Getting Women Without Using Money. And I'll put a link for it in the description box because... You know, I was thinking about it, and not just even from the men's angle, but from the women's angle, right? From the women's angle. I'm going to get into why women shouldn't even really want that out of a man. Now, one of the things that inspired this was, uh, I got to shout him out. Uh, his brother, he's been supporting me a long time, Xanatos uh, Clutch. I think it's Clutch. Uh, Xanatos. I just call him Xanatos. But he was saying how, you know, if you talk about, you know, you got some guys out here when you say, well, you can get one without money. You know how some guys come back and they always say, well, you got to spend money at some point, you know, time, all of that. Which is yeah, basically some coping shit or some bullshit. Because first of all, a woman's been in her time. She's been in her time, too. She fixing up. Sometimes she might be making a plate. I remember I was driving up to Jersey to see this woman one time, man. She spent the entire morning fixing me three days' worth of food. Her time. So that shouldn't even count. Don't, don't See, they try to stretch it out when you try to say, well, you getting it without spending the money. And that's some bullshit right there. That's some bullshit. But even then, what are you really getting? What are you, what are you really getting from it? All it is is some pimp ho shit. All it is is a business thing. It's just a transaction. How you getting some happiness out of that? No, seriously, I want people to think about it. Like a man. You paying for the pussy? Shit. That means if another man come along and have more money, he can just pay more. He can, he can just pay more. And in fact, those are the main ones who men who be being uh, cheated on. The men who paying and shit. And the women laughing at him. The women laughing at him. And just to be clear, because some people, well, that's just a black woman. No, no. Because I just talked, uh, Miss Angel just dropped something off at my house for me. And she was saying she knew some white women talking shit about their money making husbands. Talking shit. One woman said she glad her, her baby didn't, a white woman said she glad her baby didn't look like uh, her husband. I was like, shit. But see, that's just some business shit. That ain't a relationship. Anybody think it's a relay? They think they got a real woman. Any man who think he got a real woman behind it, and you know I ain't did this. You know I ain't did this in a while on the car video. Hey, Joe Roughneck. Uh oh. Yeah, double back home one day. Double back home one day, and then you see somebody tearing up your woman. Some motherfucker who ain't spend no money. He, you know what? You lay with your wallet. He lay with his dick. He tearing your woman up. But seriously, seriously, no, seriously on on that cheating thing. No joke on that cheating thing. Cause you don't see anybody really happy behind that shit. It be business. It be business. All these millionaires and some they think they got a woman, but then that woman roll out, take half. Man, that was business. In fact, women look. You know I'm going on women, but I just got to tell some truths on here. I just got I just got to tell some straight up truths on here. The woman, you get women, shit, they be planning divorces do like two years ahead of time before they actually do it. See, remember, I'm out here, man. I'm out here. I'm out here. You know, divorce attorneys, they'll tell you that shit. Always said divorce attorneys and sex workers, they can get they can tell you to do a real parts of relationships out here. Divorce attorneys, they be putting on they be put on retainer two years before the woman five. There's a whole lot of women out here. There ain't no love there. They already had that plan. 
Or you get some of those women going for like athletes or something like that. They get have seminars trying to tell them, nah, that woman just hunt for money. Is that what you want? No, seriously, is that what you want? And I said I was going to uh, talk about the woman part too. Because you get a woman, you know, you get some women say, nah, he got to have this much money. He got to have half a million. Use a hoe? Seriously, are you your hoe? I would say that to any woman. Because that's basically what you're presenting. And any woman doing that, I'm going to tell you what. First of all, if a man even got that trick in him, and you can call him a trick, John, whatever, simp, you can call him all that shit. If he got that in him, he ain't going to spend that money on any woman. Shit, he spend, if that man take a woman out to some fancy place for dinner or something or spend some money, he just wants some pussy. But he wants some pussy from a fine-ass woman. A lot of women, once they get, hey, a lot of women, once they get to that, uh, once they start saying that, I just take one look at them. And let's just be real. Let's just be real. A lot of them ain't going to get that type of man. Because if a man spend money like that, if he trick, oh, he want a baddie. He want a baddie. If he, gonna, if he say, well, I got to spend all this money, I got to fly out or something, he want a baddie. And if a man approaching a woman, leading with his wallet, he ain't worried about the rest of it, that's what he think of her. Even if she is a baddie. He thinks she a straight hoe. He straight, he a hoe. He ain't doing that shit to have some happy family. That might have been the shit in the past. But right now, shit, if a man approach a woman with his wallet out, he only going to approach a baddie. He doing it for the sex. He ain't doing it to, like, just talk. Now, he might go through that bullshit, a bunch of bullshit if he has to. But that dude just want the pussy. He want the pussy. So women, they got to think, if that man leading with his wallet, he really don't think much of it. And, you know, you get some women want to feel like, well, he he should he should just want to be in my presence. No, he don't. He wants you to suck his dick if he's leading with the wallet. So a woman shouldn't even really want that. But you know some going to say that. Well, honey, if you really want that still anyway, well, you better get a dress or you better hit that gym so your butt look real nice in that tight-ass dress. You better fix it up. Shoot. Sure. And you better be ready. Hey, you better be ready to suck the fuck out of his dick. Yeah, I'm going to be raw with it because that dude ain't taking us seriously. In my book, Nice Guys and Players, I talk about masked men. They picky as shit. And I've told women that. I've told women on my women's channel. A man with some money, they picky as shit. And they should be. If they got a trick, shit, you tricking for some fine woman. You ain't tricking with some woman uh, whose dress don't hang right or average looking. You ain't doing that. So either way, y'all not getting anything. That's a business thing. That's a purely transactional thing. Purely transactional. Where's the happiness in that? From either side. Now, if somebody want to do that shit, well, that's the one there. But I've talked to a lot of women. I've talked to a lot of women. They'll get one guy, shoot, they'll get one guy to be uh, on that, uh, on that money thing to give up the money and still messing with somebody else for free. I never forget this one woman, shoot. Dude's offering her like all this money, sleep with her. She taking some of it. Yeah, she paid for the motel for me. She, she paid for it. That's how I know. That's why I say shit, I don't leave with the wallet. Because I wouldn't even trust a woman. If a woman showed more interest in like how much money I was making, I wouldn't even trust her. She's like, oh, this business. Nah, she ain't fine enough. Ain't worth the business. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. And I want y'all to think about that shit. Because, you know, it's funny. You get a bunch of guys. Every time I talk about, like, uh, not spending money to get the women or I'm talking against it, I always get some guys, they say, nah, you need money. But none of them ever say, nah, hold up, man. Seriously, just in a nice comment, hold up, man. I lay with my man. I got this woman. She loyal. She beautiful. Perfect mother. All that shit. They always single. And then you see the women leading with that shit or saying, oh, you got to have this or that. Well, one, let's just, let's just be honest. I ain't trying to, well, I ain't trying to be, but I'm just being honest. They don't look like they're a guy going to spend money. 
Seriously, I, and I'm just being real. Seriously, I'm, I'm a tough love brother. I'm a tough love uncle. Any woman thinking that some guy going to spend a whole bunch of money, some guy with six figures, a woman better not think about like a guy's money like that unless she got unless her body's tight as shit. She better not even think about it. Because he, pay, he paying for it, shoot. You know? Because that's, I'm going to tell you what, and that's a major problem. Let's just be real. That shit's out of there. But you got some people got that mindset. They like, man, fuck all that love and all that shit. They just want the business. Well, you better be a good, if, you, if you're if you a woman and you want to be good in business with that shit, you better look good. And if you're a man, you better act, you better recognize it's just business. Because one of the crying shame is you get some men. You get some men, they thinking they're going to leave with their wallet, get some, like, a perfect woman or something, some good mother. No, you're not. No, you're not. If you even think that. Now, if you're realistic and just, no, nah, I, I just want the pussy. Okay. If you want to pay for it, some guys, hey, that's their logic as long as they know what they do. But a lot don't. Because seriously. Now, even when situations say, well, you could have money for a relationship, it's not the same, though. It's not the same, because think about it, when you're spending money on a woman that ain't for the relationship, you're spending money for her time. You're spending money for her pussy. You ain't spending money to keep the... If you're spending money to keep the house no paid, shoot, you benefiting from that. The car's working, you benefiting from that. Because if y'all in a relationship, y'all living together, shit, you benefiting from all the money spent. So that's not the same thing. People need to stop using it. And then beyond that, like I said earlier, you got some people talking about, uh, you know, what well, you got to spend your time and everything and all of this. Well, she's spending her time too. Fair exchange is no accident, is no uh, robber. Fair exchange is no robber. That's how I got to be. See, I'm going to tell you what, a real relationship, well, you know what, I talk about it in uh, that video I did. I'm, I'm going to save it. I ain't going to give it. I ain't going to go over there. But... When you leave with your wallet, is it actually working? That's what a lot of men need to actually ask. You leave it with your wallet, is that shit actually working for you? Other than maybe getting some pussy. And let's be real, a lot of guys leading with it, they want more than just that. If that's all you want, fine. Hell, go travel and go pay for the shit. At least acknowledge that shit. But you get too many dudes thinking, oh, yeah, it's just the money. Hell. Too many women just going for the money. Neither one of them happy. Like, yeah, like let me, let me, let me, let me jump on the women for a second here. All these women talking about, oh, he gotta have this money and this money. I always ask them. Yeah, how's that working for you? Well, I got this guy and this guy. Where you at now? <laughs> always ask those two questions. Ask them if they got a guy. Answer is just, you know, they say, well, I've been with a couple guys with money. Uh, how come they didn't work out? They had money. Seriously. And people will probably say, well, why are you so big on it? Now, remember, I shared a video. I got money. I, ain't, I can't be a broke motherfucker living in a three-story townhouse. I can't be a broke motherfucker. You know, I went through my medical thing. went through that stroke. And even with insurance, I'm still paying money. I'm still paying something. I ain't paying as much, but that shit wasn't free. Shit. And I ain't worked for two months, but I had enough money, so I ain't a broke motherfucker far from that. But I'm realistic. I'm realistic. Because people got to be real out here. When I look at the relationships that are working, the money was never the major thing. In fact, most of the couples came together and they started making money together, which is the way to do it. You know? But it wasn't based on, oh, well, he's making this much money or this. No, nah, hell no. Fuck no. You know? Because when it's on that, man, it's a business deal, man. You can't have a strong relationship based on that. Business is business. Like I said, if you want it to just be business, hey, that's fair right there. That's fair. But if you want something more, shit. Oh, yeah, taking up. Oh, incidentally, 
I hate when people, now I'm just going to say this. This is a total thing. Somebody was talking about getting a certain type of shades. These are progressive shades, okay? That means they got medicine in them. And they to keep the light out of my thing. So don't, don't worry about it, okay? But anyway, right? Yeah, but yeah, that money thing, don't leave with it. You want to make money. All men want to make money, but don't leave with it. Because even with, uh, in my book, when I'm talking about mass men, those are money men and material men, I said something very specific. When, even when they get women, women don't like what's underneath the money. Once they get past the money, the women don't like it anyway. So I lead with it. You know, and women, you know, like I said, you get women out here, they want to talk about they want six figures, half a million and shit, but they ain't fine like that. And then if a man even, like, give him some attention, he ain't seeing a woman who be the future mother of his baby. He's seeing a straight up hoe. And I know women don't like that shit. Well, it's like, okay, you present yourself that way. That's the first thing he thinking. Trust me. That's why he telling his boy, yeah, this hoe. Don't get mad if he treats you like that. You know? If he feel like you're a hoe, he gonna treat you like one. You leading, you insisting on money. He gonna, then as soon as you do that, most of them, even the most simple of them, they're going to look at you like, hmm. All right, this how she doing? Okay. Mm -hmm. She got fat ass. She look like she got some dick sucking lips. Okay. And then don't, still don't get shit out of it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm going to tell you what, the game can be cold blooded. You know? The game can be cold blooded. But anyway, though. Like I said, I ain't gonna have these long ass, uh, I ain't gonna have these long ass videos and shit. Car videos. Go in here, get some stuff, get a few things. So, anyway, y'all, that's all I got. I probably won't be doing like car videos every day like I once was any damn way. You know, still, still, still healing, still healing. Never say you sick, always say you healing. All right? So, I'm still healing. Alright, so anyway, I get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.